Hey guys, I really wanted to show what's going on here with this meter that we have from for Nursi. We'll get to that very shortly here and we'll be able to read the frequency as well as the period that the radio is putting out. So this is the radio setup that we got. We got the transmitter here and I'll show you the rest of the setup. So on this side here, I have the battery pack. It's a two cell LIFE and that is connected up to our receiver, which is a radio link R8FG. And from there we go into a splitter so that we can go and split split it to our oscilloscope and then on the other side we go to the servo so we can see on the servo here what's going on as we go and move it. So the first thing that we're going to do here is we're going to enter auto mode so I'm going to fire that. This is going to adjust everything so that it comes in a little bit cleaner and the view looks a little better. Now that we've done that we can see exactly what the frequency is and the period and this also does correspond to the period that we're using here. Our servo speed is 14 milliseconds and we're also seeing the 14 milliseconds there on the screen. So that checks out. Now what I want to show you is what happens when I actually rotate the steering wheel. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take the steering wheel here and I'm going to rotate like this. So as I rotate it, you could see the servo that is moving there, but also look what happens to the graphs. As we move it full left, you could see it goes all the way nice and tight. And as we move it to the right, it opens up. And as we're doing this, you could see the width measurement. So the width measurement is right here. If you follow along, it says 1.47 right now. As I go to the left and hold it there, you get 1.05. And as I go all the way slowly to the max, we get about 1.9 milliseconds. So you can see that we're moving in that range there. Now you would have seen a lot of what we're doing here in the last video, except with the detail there as we move the steering wheel and follow it along. But let's go through and do this as well. So servo speed, we got 14 milliseconds. Let's change that to three. So we change it to three seconds. And as soon as we fire that off, you can see that it has updated. And now it shows a frequency of 340, and that is displayed on this side. And then the period is close to that three millisecond point. So you can see that the view now is quite tight where we have a lot of the waves. Let's go and hit our auto mode again and fire that. This is going to make this look a little bit cleaner for us. So we fire off the auto mode and allow it to adjust. And now that it's adjusted, we got 333 megahertz. We got three milliseconds there as our servo speed, our frame rate for the receiver. And if we go and move it to the left, you can see that those bars get a little bit tighter. You can see their width drops to that 1.05, 1.08. And as we go the other way, we go up to the 192. So you can see the full range there of the servo. And as we move that, this is exactly what's happening. It's really cool to be able to see this as we go and rotate the steering wheel here on our transmitter, we get the output of the servo that we can see and all the signals can be read by this oscilloscope to show us exactly what's going on in order to get that motion from our steering wheel all the way to the servo. Really cool. Hope you like it guys. That's all I have for you. Thanks a lot for watching and I'll see you in the next one.